ever felt scared about relocating to another country? What makes adjusting to life abroad harder than in our own country? I live in Thailand for six months and I'm ready to tell you some interesting things and answer all those questions. Let's start with the most interesting money question. We divide our expenses on several categories and let's start with category called food. How do we spend money on food? I live with my husband and with my dog in two-floor villa with uh, four more people. As I said before, there are six people in the villa, so sometimes it's inconvenient to cook. That's why we have to order from restaurants, eat in the street cafes, or go to 7-Eleven to buy some food, or sometimes we choose McDonald's. And it's also important to say that it's hard for us to eat um, local food because it's too oily uh, for us, for me especially. Uh, though I cannot deny it's really delicious, but I just, my stomach just cannot uh, eat that much and that fat and that spicy. <laughs> so that's why we have to find something more uh, usual for us. Or fast food. God bless McDonald's. <laughs> really cheesy. God bless cheesy. We do not really eat much. We usually spend 10,000 baht, which equals around 300, sometimes 500 dollars. Me, my husband, and dogs food. The next part of expenses for us is house. And as I mentioned before, there are six people in the villa. So uh, the whole house costs for all of us 30,000 baht. It's around $900 for the whole house. And we do not count here expenses on water and electricity, which is around $100. So the whole house equals uh, $1,000 for all of us. The next part we spend our money on is fun. We love trying different kind of things. Uh, we love explore places, especially in a new country, in country this, that is new for us. This part takes from us around $400, $500. Let's be less practical now and discuss more personal things, such as Difficulties of living in the foreign country. I know that I'm talking about difficulties by the pool, but come on, we're human beings, so let us just be ourselves. Let us complain just a little bit. Probably you already feel my pain uh, about food because uh, I eat really simple food, which is a little bit hard to find here. Personally for me, food is one of the key difficulties because you often go to the restaurants and you either can order Thai food or burger, pizza, pasta. Western food is questionably delicious, but of course Thai food is nice. Try but Thai if you ever go to Thailand. Next thing that can be challenging sometimes, uh, it is challenging for my friends that are here with me, climate, the temperature. Uh, now it's July, the end of July, and it's kind of low season, so it's cloudy and not uh, as hot as usual. But usually it's like plus 36 degrees Celsius, the sun is shining and it's burning your skin. So it's really important to, to care about your skin, to cover yourself with skin protection, with, uh, sunscreen, I mean. This kind of climate affects your um, productivity, so you cannot work here. Actually, it's also forbidden to work in here <laughs> for foreigners. So if you do not have a work permit and I can totally feel why because it's really impossible impossible to stay with your pace of work uh, because everybody here is so slow so chill uh, that's why sometimes it's complicated to follow your usual routine uh, probably that you followed in some colder regions climate 
this humidity as well uh, leads us to the pace of life and if you are not ready for example to a uh, really slow life then Thailand is probably not for you uh, here everybody is extremely slow and they also have kind of philosophy which is called sabai sabai which means do not be in a rush here because later you can later in your next life you do anything you want anything you wish traffic for me was surprise because uh, here motorbikes are really really popular uh, they have good roads in Thailand but uh, on the highway there are huge trucks so damn close to little motorbikes trying to be faster than huge trucks that go maybe far away to the continent from the island or something else and this is damn scary that's why I'm trying not to ride motorbike because the amount of uh, motorbike accidents is uh, crucial <laughs> it's extremely high and I think that you always identify the country by people that live in here most important thing you need to know about Thai people is that they are Buddhist so they follow Buddhist traditions and behind me you can see a kind of altar that is located in each house uh, actually it's not Buddhist tradition it's uh, the tradition that uh, appeared in Thailand a little bit earlier However, now it's part of a big culture of Thai Buddhism, so that's why it's really important to know uh, what are Buddhist people like. Living here, I also tried some uh, Buddhist experience in a Buddhist monastery. I've been through a week of Vipassana retreat. There, I followed traditional ritual of a rice offering to the monks in the early morning uh, then uh, it was different kind of meditation practices such as walking meditation, sitting meditation, uh, lying down meditation um, also we didn't eat meat in there and we had some kind of classes with monks where we could uh, ans ask some questions and get some answers. I also experienced some silence practice for around two days and of course read some books about Buddhism to go a little bit deeper in the religion and understand it, it more fully. Basically what I'm saying is that I've been surrounded by Thai people, by many Thai people, uh, the workers at the restaurant, the taxi drivers, our security guards, uh, some parking guys, drivers that stop to help you if you are in a trouble, um, shop assistants and all of these people um, are working slowly, yes, but all of these people are uh, spreading loving kindness <laughs> and you can actually feel it through your skin which makes you feel safe and makes you feel maybe happier. So actually from many uh, people in here you can feel the inner peace, meditative states that make you calmer as well, which leads us to the question of safety. I feel uh, really safe here, uh, which gives me more freedom, I guess, and uh, I also guess that this country opens your mind a little bit. I think you know what I mean. Let's talk about my favorite part now and it's progress. Progress is what makes life in another country easier and more comfortable. What makes life here easier? First of all, the knowledge of English. Mostly each person in touristic area knows English. However, uh, if you go a little bit further in uh, countryside, then unfortunately you cannot use your English skills, you have to use your mimic skills. <laughs> Nevertheless, if you live in some uh, busy area, 
uh, most of Thai people will help you and will speak to you, talk to you in English. Another cool thing about Thailand is that online apps are uh, used everywhere so you can uh, easily order food online with Grab uh, you also can order taxi with InDrive or Grab as well you can go online shopping with Lazada or Shopee so uh, basically there is an app for anything modern shopping malls improved schools nice gas stations with cafes and coffee stops on each station make life here happy beautiful and easy conclusion devil hides in details and by devil i mean only good thing i feel like saying I love Thailand and I'm ready to buy a cap which says I love Thailand. Thanks for watching.